Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another RMA Fire tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'd like to show you how to use the cloth capture. So the first thing, why do we want to use the cloth capture? I'm going to show you with this basic geo here. That is a good example. So I'm going to use an exploded view. You will see that a lot of geometry that's been created in um, Marvelous Designer or in a lot of these softwares, they come in pieces. So try to sim this, like it's gonna go all over the place and it's gonna get messed up. Um, or for example, you get this piece of geometry and the client's like, okay, I want this exact piece of geometry. You can't tweak the geometry when putting it inside of Vellum so you're like how do i go about that how do i keep the uvs how do i avoid it from like flying all over the place that's for you to see in this tutorial we want to use the cloth capture so let's use a remesh let's say that we can do anything that we want with this geometry i'm just gonna like play with it and do whatever i want okay i create a remesh but still, it's separated. Okay, then we create a fuse. We connect it to the fuse. And let's see, just to be safe, let's do like a five snapping distance to like make sure that this piece of geometry is no longer exploding. Um, and okay, this is the piece of geometry that I would like to sim because this is the one that has been fused, has all of that. All right, so. The first thing is that we want to create a cloth capture. So we're going to say cloth capture. And on our right input, we're going to connect our or original piece of cloth, meaning this one. So out original. So if we look here, this is the original one that we had. So the original piece of cloth goes here. Now on our second input, we want to connect the piece of geometry that we've tweaked. Therefore, this one right here. And then we can create a second null here that says this is our um, out cloth rest position. Okay, because this is our static before we do any simulation to it. So let's see, we have this and we are going to call this out cloth capture. So if we select the cloth capture, you're going to see that it creates this sort of weird spheres. That's based on this radius. That's the radius that's going to capture the cloth when we deform it after the simulation. So something about around a four is good for this because it covers the piece of geometry that we're going to be working with very well. So let's drop down a Velm cloth and we're going to connect our rest into the vellum cloth. That's the one that we are going to do the simulation with. Let's drop down a vellum solver. And inside our vellum solver, uh, I want to do two things. First, kill the gravity. And second, just add a pop force in here so that it's just really easy to see that um, we're going to deform it dramatically, right? Okay. So now let's hit play. And we can see that this geometry still has some places that we need to weld those points so that it doesn't separate. So let's just increase this to like uh, 0.1, 0 0.01. And you can see that now we don't have any points that are breaking. It is a simulation that we can do a lot of things with and the geometry is great. But wait, this is different from the geometry of the client. How do we go about fixing that? All right. So let's do an object merge right here. And on our first object merge, we're going to connect our cloth capture. We're going to hit Alt and duplicate the object merge. And here's where we're going to put our rest position. Boom. And then the last one is going to be our simulated position. So we want to do a cloth deform. The cloth capture goes on the first one, this one in the middle, and the third one is our, uh, our geometry that is deformed. 
and boom you've got your original geometry that is simulated in the exact same way from the geometry that we completely changed and and it looks great and you can do anything you keep UUVs and then you can do anything that you want with it so this is a super powerful tip I will save this project file however I cannot give you this pants because those are from a client of mine um, but I'm just gonna drop down a null up here and I'm gonna say uh, for your geo I hope you guys like this tutorial and I'll be back with more